Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here today at May Hall's 20 Lanes, and we're here with jazz legend Gerald Clayton. Hey, thanks for taking a couple minutes and talking with us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Talk about what you're doing here, because you're working with Tri-C. They got the Jazz Fest coming up, but well, you're doing some cool gigs here. You were speaking today. What do you got going on tonight here at May Hall's? Yeah, they, they asked me to be the part artist in residence with my father, so they've got us busy doing a lot of educational things and adjudicating different bands throughout the day. And tonight we're playing with the, uh, sitting in with the Berkeley Ensemble and Terry Lynn Carrington, so it's right. going to be fun. Terry Lynn Carrington's in the house, yeah. yeah. I heard you gave a cool talk today to the, to the young, uh, young artists. What, what kind of advice are you giving young people these days? Same as always, really, just sort of um, be true to yourself and uh, cultivate sort of your, your personal r connection to the music and, um, you know, be you can never be too thorough, things like that, um, expressing ourselves with clarity and honesty and um, just sort of big concepts that, that apply to, to everything, music and life. Right. Yeah. You grew up in a musical family, obviously, your father, John Clayton, another legend. Uh, wh what... I want to say what was that like, but if it was probably like, hey, he's my dad, and, and I just grew up in a family like other people, but what do you think now that you're a little older, what do you, what do you know it brought you that other musicians just, just don't have? Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I consider myself really fortunate to just be around the music, you know, around the lifestyle behind the music at such a young age. Um, so the exposure is, is one thing, and also to have parents that, uh, that trust in me to just discover whatever I'm going to discover in the music, not to say sort of, well, you should have a backup plan, things like that. Um, but I, I think, you know, with getting older, you sort of just gain perspective on, on how lucky I am. Just, just my dad sort of did all the struggling for me and now I get to be like a, a spoiled brat and think about what I want to do artistically. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> but what about education? I mean, where, where did you, sort of learn your chops besides in the house obviously yeah you know with, with this music so much of it is is a process of self-discovery so it's all the records that you listen to and the the people you play with the jam sessions you go to um but i went to los angeles los angeles county high school for the arts um university of southern california uh and manhattan school of music so um study with kenny Barron and billy childs and shelly berg and a lot of great people along the way so you're doing a gig here tonight. You guys are in the church on the east side of Cleveland tomorrow. Thursday, you got a big gig down at the new Blue Jazz Club in Akron. Uh, what's that, what's that going to be like? We'll see. I'm, I'm excited to see it. I heard it's a nice new club, and, um, you know, everybody's been real real excited and supportive. So I think it's going to be a good, a good time. And we should mention your dad on July 9th is part of the Jazz Fest this year with the Clayton Hamilton Jazz Orchestra. You've sat in with him. You're going to be, what, touring in Europe, I guess, at that time, so you won't be with him this time. But what is it like playing with your dad in, in that huge orchestra? It's so rare to have so many people. Yeah, that gig, actually, I, I've only done a few times. Back in the day, I subbed once or twice. Um, but it's, yeah, it, it, it's a great feeling when so many musicians are really, like, on the exact same page. It's, it's a force, so um, I, I recommend everybody go out and check that out if they get a chance. Hey, thanks so much for your generosity and taking time here. Have some fun tonight and the rest of the week in Cleveland. Thank you. Thanks. Peace out. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.